we are in the kitchen now with Miss Joy McCabe. We're talking butter because we're putting it <laughs> on grilling steaks. Of course, a steak yes. is fantastic on its own, but you say this really spices yes. it up. I mean, when it's grilling time, there's nothing better than a good steak. And I think this butter and all those seasonings and flavors mm -hmm. that are, you add to the butter really just enhance that flavor quite a bit. Okay. So I've got two different versions of steak butter today. One has um, thyme and blue cheese, and the other is rosemary, oh, garlic, okay. and a little um, lemon juice. Yeah. And you know, you can really use your imagination uh -huh. and put whatever seasonings and flavors you think you'd like. So it, 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 and I mean, these are herbs I grow in my backyard, so it was easy to Easy do. to, to mm -hmm. find and, and come up with different concoctions. Yeah. Oh, now, yeah. you put it on a steak, but you could probably, could you put this on other things as well? Oh, yeah. And if you, you know, if you changed out the herb to dill, mm -hmm. it'd be great on fish. Oh, on yeah. A, oh yeah. It'd okay. be really good on salmon or, yeah, you could okay. do a lot of different things. So which with one it. is this? This is, we're going to make the uh, blue cheese and thyme. Okay. And so you're going to start with a stick of butter. And you really need to make sure your butter is softened. So I set this out last night and it's been out all day. It's nice and soft. Okay. And that's the only way you're going to be able to mix everything together. Here's some chopped thyme, some crumbled blue cheese. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I spilled a little bit. And then I'm going to add some pepper, fresh ground pepper, and a little salt. I tell you, I like to taste as I go on the salt because you might, um, if your steak has been seasoned, you might not need as much salt. Mm -hmm. If it's not, you might want more salt. So kind of taste as you go and you be the judge um, of how much salt you want. So just stir all this together. Then, when it's all combined, and you can smell all these herbs, oh, they just smell so good. Goodness. I know. You're going to cover this, refrigerate it for 30 minutes. Okay. And then I've also got the other version over here, which is the same thing butter. I've got some garlic, rosemary. I'm going to add in some fresh squeezed lemon juice. So, this is another good combination. And you can just use one, one um, whichever one you like best on your steak. Once you've cooked your steak, take it off the grill. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to um, um, put it on a platter, let it uh, put some of your butter on there. Just scoop out either a, however much butter you think okay. you want, um, depending on how big your steak is uh -huh. and how much you want, which yeah. might be a lot. <laughs> then cover it with aluminum foil and with the butter on there. Okay. Let it rest for five minutes, and we're going to see how this looks. Oh my so gosh. your um, <laughs> your juices are all going to come together wow. in your steak. You're going to that butter is just going to melt down into the steak. And then you can spread it around later, and you're just going to have great, great flavor. Oh, my goodness. And so it is a wonderful way to just enhance and kind of amp up your steak. And there's nothing better than cooking your own steak the oh, way no. you like it on the grill. I agree. Outside. And impressing your guests if yes. you have folks over to the And this is great for company. Well, we mm -hmm. so appreciate you coming on. I say oh, this all the you. time. If I cook, which I don't do a lot, I use your recipes because oh, they're always sweet. fantastic. Thank Where can you. people find more about you and your recipes? Well, I have a website and it's joymccabe.com. J-O-Y-M-C-C-A-B-E.com. Awesome.